pronounced Boyan. When you, once you get east of military, it's pronounced Boyan. That's just an observation of mine. Having lived here for six years, Kevin, you did not say that Gianna was going to be here tonight. Gianna De Laurentiis, no one's ever told you that? Me? You! Really? Yeah. Maybe it's the kava? No, I haven't had any kava. You look like Gianna. I'm going to screw up because of you. I like Gianna. She is not in everyday Italian. I'm half Italian, I can say that. So, if you've ever wondered what would happen if someone quit um, Weight Watchers, Hair Club, and Law School all in the same week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. You're, you're looking at it. Do they make spanks for men? Because every time I go to Nordstrom, I'm afraid to ask, but you seem friendly. Are there spanks for men? There are? So, um, I'm from Ohio, which maybe explains the work boots and the flannel and the jeans. Um, I've lived here for six years, I'm still getting used to all the diversity down here, you know? It's crazy. For me, growing up, diversity was taking a Japanese car to an Italian restaurant and ordering a Greek salad. You know, diversity was... Three different German luxury cars parked in the cul-de-sac. I mean, it was not diverse. And here, I'm just, I'm trying to fit in still after six years. Like, I've eaten at the Polo Tropical. I saw the Shakira concerts. I'm rooting for the heat, even though I'm from Cleveland. Um, but I just, I can't fit in anywhere. It's a shame. My wife, though, she's a chameleon. Yeah, she's from Albania. Any Albanians in the house? Oh. No, they're all in my house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eating a baby goat as we speak. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Singing folk songs about laundry. It's crazy. <laughs> but uh, no, I love my wife. She's my hero. Came to the United States 15 years ago with 50 bucks in her pocket. And today she's a very successful uh, human being. You know, got herself an education and a great career. Me, I grew up in Cleveland under capitalism. I found fifty bucks in my pocket once. <laughs> I turned that into empty beer cans and Butterfinger wrappers. Yeah. So. <laughs> I, it's been a while since I've done this, Kevin. I've got a cheat sheet. Those uh, annoying stickers that say 26.2 or 13.1 on the back of cars, those are for marathon and half marathon runners. I finally figured that out. I thought it was a political statement. Like, there's 26.2 counties in Ireland or something. Like, I didn't know what it was, but I did know enough after research to go on cafepress.com and I printed out my own sticker, 0.131. My neighbor said, oh, is that the distance from your front door to your mailbox? I said, no, that's my blood alcohol content. Don't mess with me, <laughs> half marathon runner. Uh, is there such a thing as a blood kava content? I've had the kava, but I started Atkins like four hours ago, and I read that there's some uh, little, teeny, tiny, and I can't afford any carbs. It's all nicotine gum. That's for my 20 carbs a day. <laughs> comes from. Um, even though I am a 40-year-old, bald, fat, married father of three, I did get to see a sports medicine specialist at the Cleveland Clinic, which made me feel like quite the man, you know? Walking in, you know, through the sports medicine uh, specialist. Yeah, I actually injured my ACL changing a diaper. <laughs> but... Yeah, don't get old. Um, I just signed a deal with CVS. Yeah, oh, I did that wrong. I'm supposed to pronounce it like CVS. So you think I said CBS? And then I tell you, yeah, for every bottle of, uh, um, what's that stuff? Cold bottle medicated powder, I get 10 rewards bucks or something. 